the discomfort zone. I was watching a dear friend and teacher recently speak on a Facebook live broadcast about how change is not comfortable and about how we are using that as an excuse not to change. Well, my dear friend, I have to disagree with you on a couple of finer points. Number one, the reason most people need and desire change is because their comfort zones are no longer comfortable. Number two, when the change one is seeking begins to happen, we feel excitement, not discomfort. She also spoke about how the process of changing steers one through all the barriers, reasons, sensations, and blockages that are holding the particular condition or situation we wanted to change in place. It's true that all this unraveling can temporarily feel like things are falling apart or caving in. However, if the intention was to change, and this unraveling is the evidence validating the intention to change, why not celebrate it? Yes, we can definitely lose track of the changes we have desired so that all the falling apart seems dangerous or distressing, and if we go into being the victim, we risk the nullification of our intention to change. In fact, most desire to change revolves around finding a comfort zone where life comes to us with ease and joy and we are free to express ourselves creatively, experience the world as a loving place and where future changes are joyful and generative. I would hazard a guess that the meme change is uncomfortable it is really just an arbitrary point of view that ignores the mechanics of how things work in this magical 3D world we've constructed. The bottom line is that the higher, more generative life we seek change for is, in fact, the truer reflection of who we really are. And to make that change, we have to simply focus our intent on that version of ourselves already existing in a parallel reality. I would also proffer the view that what drives most change is discomfort or pain of some level. And that it's impossible to change from an alleged comfort zone. If we are truly in this theoretical comfort zone, why would we want to change from that? On the other hand, why experience discomfort at all in a, in a comfort zone? How about just choosing something different, perhaps with more magic, excitement? and incredibleness. If instead we are suffering or prolonging our discomfort, how about changing the current situation or condition by tuning in to the higher version of yourself and sending out the intention to become that? More joy, more ease, more fulfillment, more amazingness. Then be willing to experience whatever the universe ex presents to us as experience in the unfoldment of that version of yourself wherever it may lead. I would also venture to make this observation that behind all discomfort and pain is the desire for that higher version of your life and that any pain or discomfort we are experiencing is us in the process of actualizing that higher life. It's the perception that life is victimizing us that is prolonging the discomfort, pain, and suffering, and potentially completely blocking any change. So, switch it up. Be the creator. Spot where the victim is, and simply say, bye-bye. Then, go to where the ease and joy is that will demonstrate to the universe, your co-creative partner, that you are on board with realizing the greatest life you can experience, and that you are willing to go beyond that. Continually broadcast that vibration of ease, love, and joy, and tune into that same broadcast emanating from the ultimate you right next door. Enjoy the ride and enjoy arriving at your new comfort zone. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. 
brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.